the wildfire is on the air welcome to the saint patrick's day edition of the wildfire podcast i'm your host stefan some of you watching our podcast are wondering what is west place clubhouse West Place Clubhouse is a volunteer-based work order day program that helps members with mental illnesses get back into the workforce. With help from a loving staff, members can work on job and education skills in a safe environment. If you would like to become a member or have any questions regarding the program, please contact Joe, Judy, or Rhonda at 724-834-2727. And now, on with the show! Up next, we bring you the Director's Desk. This is a segment where we give you updates concerning job openings in the county and inform and information about our spectacular Transitional Employment Program, TE for short. For those of you who have never heard of a Transitional Employment Program, it's a program that helps members wanting to get part-time jobs in the community. With the help of a job coach, the member is trained for the job and is transported to and from there for a period of six to nine months. If the member likes the job, they have the option to remain a part-time employee. And now we give you the director's desk brought to you today by our job coach, Joe. Hello everyone, this is Joe, uh, job coach here at uh, West Place Clubhouse. And he's gonna talk with us today about any new openings in the TE program or what's going on with other members in the TE program. So what have you got for us, Joe? Well, first of all, uh, I started uh, Thomas and he is working the uh, uh, Wallace uh, Training Center in Belmont. And uh, actually this coming Tuesday will be his third day of work there. Oh, that's great. And um, he does maintenance and janitorial work there uh, he seems to uh, enjoy it and uh, within the next six to nine months if anybody's looking to uh, do any type of work like that that uh, that will be open I do have or at least I did I'd have to talk to him again uh, for the uh, goodwill over in Norwin uh, the manager there, Mike, had uh, spoke to me. He had called me a while back, seeing if we had any other people that would like to do the back door uh, during the week, and uh, or any other positions. He says he's even right now. He is looking just to you know people that are interested. He'd like to talk to them interview them and see whether they would make a, a good fit there and that would be a TE which would be six to nine months and um, he never talked about the hours but he knows he's been uh, at Burger King and he was the manager there and we had a TD, TE there and he knows uh, how many hours a person has to work before their uh, insurance and whatever benefits and all that uh, uh, might kick out and all that stuff. So. Okay, wow. So uh, just a shout out, a congratulation to Thomas. Yes. If he's watching. And uh, anybody interested in um, these job offers, uh, please see Joe. And uh, thanks again for watching. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, well, now that we have that one in... Uh, Delmont, I would like to uh, start getting a hold of uh, Mike in Norwin to see if he's still interested. So if anybody's interested in working again and would like to try it out, then come on in.
And now I would like to introduce our new special guest segment. So each month, we invite a special guest to appear on our podcast to share their stories with us. This month, Mr. Bobby Tanier is our guest. Enjoy this interview. It's on our podcast called Special Guest. And our first special guest for this uh, podcast series is uh, Bobby Tanier. Hi, Bobby. Welcome to uh, the wildfire on the air. Hello. Thanks for having me. And uh, we'd like to talk with you a little bit today. Um, so what do you do, Bobby? So like you said, my name is Bobby Tanier. I work for Westmoreland County Behavioral Health and Developmental Services Office. My official title is a Behavioral Health Adult Program Specialist. So um, that encompasses a whole lot. There are more than just me, there's obviously a children's department and early intervention department, an adult department, mental health, and then we also have our developmental services portion, a fiscal portion. So I believe we have about 33 people in our office. and We all do various stuff. Wow. Me specifically, my role is to oversee our crisis programs, our payee programs, um, a lot of community outreach and various other stuff. So I'm kind of like a, a jack of all trades, if you will. Well, that's that's pretty awesome. So um, you work with different ages, or or just I am either. specifically eighteen and older. Eighteen adults. and older. Yes. Okay. All right. So um, tell me, what do you think of about uh, awareness of mental health? How, how do you think? Is there? Do you think there's a like? Um, do a lot of people know about it or? I would like to think a lot of people know about it. I know um, one of the statistics that stuck out to me the most was in 2019. It had come out that one in five or 20% of adults have some sort of mental illness. I think that's grossly underreported. I'm thinking more like probably three out of five. Mm -hmm. This thing called COVID happened within the last two years. Um, you know, whether a lot of people like to admit it or not, I'm sure it's had an impact on their lives one way or another, more specifically their mental health. So I would like to think we're turning the corner, making people more aware, trying to erase that stigma. But I unfortunately still feel we got a long way to go with that. Yes, that's true. We do. Um, so yeah, obviously COVID had a big effect on the mental health community, and as far as like isolation, you know, which was terrible, you know. But um, well, for example, here at Clubhouse. Um, we try to keep members um, busy using our um, WebEx meetings, online meetings, almost like similar to a FaceTime. Okay. You know, so to combat the isolation. Of, so, um, yeah. Surprisingly, you know, you would think people who already have struggles with mental illness would be a lot more affected by COVID isolation and stuff. But what I'm seeing and personally, my friends and including myself is people who typically didn't have those struggles in the past are having these new struggles now. And that's kind of like the people and the pockets that we're trying to reach through our office because people who know about us, we're thankful they know about us and we cherish their feedback and try to do what we can to make things accessible and services better. But you have those folks that don't know about mental health or where to turn and that, like I said, those are actually the people that we want to do a lot more outreach to. Because, okay. you know, some people are in denial about it. Some people just don't understand it. So, you know, it's definitely uncomfortable conversation to have. But, you know, that's that's what we do. Wow. Yes, it is a hard conversation to have. Um, so do you have a number where people can... Yeah, get so, in contact um, with your organization in case they need help. So from... Westmoreland County Behavioral Health Developmental Services Office is 724-830-3617. My phone number is 724-830-3904. Um, we also have a county Facebook site and a county web page. I do not have that information right off the cuff to throw at you, but if you type in Westmoreland County BHDS Facebook, I'm absolutely positive that it'll bounce you right to our site. Wow, thank you so much.